Today's video, eave and valley panels installed around skylights on a metal shingle roof. It's going to be a little bit something different today. This is a, a homeowner had actually installed this. We aided him with the design and provided all the materials and then he implemented it on his metal roof. It was a pretty tricky installation, but we think he did a, a really nice job. So he sent us pictures kind of step by step of the process. He was so proud of, of what he had done. So we're going to kind of just go through these and hopefully they can serve as an explainer. So first of all, we see the metal extrusion being laid down along the eaves and uh, up the, the side of the skylights and then across the top of the skylights as well. It's going to provide a continuous melt path. He started notching out the panels where the heat cables would drop down between each of the skylight runs. Installed the uh, valley panels also in the metal valley next to the skylights. And so we see the, the system kind of routed all the way around. He had another little eave where he routed down to the gutter line, the drip line with that as well. Now we see the heat cables starting to be routed, being held in place with the roof clips. He fastened those down uh, with an adhesive, so there's no penetrations there. Uh, we see the eave panel being fastened down along with uh, the heat cable being routed uh, through the system. Again, heat cable routed up the sides, uh, and then once it got to that top corner, there was obviously the notch out, heat cables uh, turn the corner, uh, notch outs uh, at each of the areas where the heat cable would drop down uh, between the skylight banks uh, all the way down to the bottom. Again, the heat cable continued routed up around uh, the valleys up over the top. Again, the panel stopped short so that uh, the heat cable could be uh, routed up and over the ridge. Again, down that short run down to that other short piece of eave as well. Now he's installing the snap-on covers. They go on very easy, just snap to fit. Routing them up uh, the valley. And uh, you can see uh, in this one, he chose not to miter the corners. Uh, you can get as detailed as you want uh, on those. The uh, eave covers then get riveted down to that base panel and we custom made those uh, covers so that they would work with his metal shingle roof. Again we see the uh, valley panels being routed, the covers on them. Uh, it's a real nice look uh, on a metal roof, fits very well into a metal roof valley. Again some routing down toward the bottom, creating those drain paths. Uh, all the way down to the uh, eave panel at the bottom. Some details of the covers going on uh, across the top of his skylight bank. And then he also chose to run a little more heat cable up and over uh, that top skylight without the valley panels. Again, really nice detailing uh, from this homeowner installed uh, system. Uh, on uh, this metal shingle roof. There's a detail, you can see how we custom made the covers to tuck up underneath that second course of metal shingles. Hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Uh, that'll keep you in touch as we release new videos. And certainly thanks for watching.